Hello, dear viewers, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We return to Sharumph, the tortoise, also known as the end of an era. <laughs> cool. We just cleared out the lair, which was neat. And I got a chocolate soda, so my voice is feeling much better. I'm not sure that chocolate soda is incredibly good for you, but, eh, you know, whatever. Okay, so we could go to the shoals or the spider's nest, but I don't want to yet. Those both sound very, very dangerous. Spider's nest, actually, we could probably do the first four levels. But I want to do another level or two of the dungeon because I want to see if I can find the orcish mines. What does this lead one to do? Want to fire? Excellent. That's a good one to have. Orc wielding a glowing mace. Not much challenge for us. And under the glowing mace might be nice if we encounter a hydra or something. Beat up on trolls. And beetles. We're really strong right now. It's kind of nice. Okay, let's uh, let's drop some things. I don't really care much about these javelins anymore. I don't think they're going to be doing really anything uh, particularly because our throwing skill has not increased at all. We don't care about throwing. Let's try out this amulet. An amulet of clarity. I like amulet of clarity a lot actually. I think being protected from confusion and mm, I don't remember what else. Several things. Ah, including being berserked against one's will. That's nice. Um, oh, yes, we can actually do the shoals now that we have a way to resist the sirens. So that's a great pickup. And we have 121 hit points, so the additional 11 or so that we would get from Guardian Spirit. Or maybe it is a full 22 and it just splits it. But uh, anyway, that additional hit point pool is not incredibly necessary. So yeah, clarity is great. Good effect to have. Getting a little cavalier here. But you know what? We're a minotaur. We go where we please. I don't care about anything. I think we can drop this Wand of Frost. And this other Wand of Frost. They seem pretty bad. And this Wand of Random Effects. I think our other wands are powerful enough that we don't need the small fries anymore. Yeah. Because I do like a Wand of Slowing with 70 vocations. Staves we don't care about. Oh, let's turn off picking up books automatically. Because we really don't care, and it would just be taunting myself if I found a book with a spell that I really liked. So yeah, we're not going to do that. We're just going to continue to bash all day. Bash all night. And by bash, I mean slice. There's probably some bashing involved as well. Plate armor, but uh, chances are roughly the same that it will be better or worse than ours, so might as well stick with what we got. Just run over priests now. I hope to find the Orcish Mines so that we can buy some cool swag with our 1,500 gold. get some artifacts, some additional artifacts. I guess we do already have our axe here. Um, I'm going to press control and a direction to close the door to make Harold come to us rather than using whatever yeah, throwing nets he has. Uh, we'll eat him. Necrophage. I don't care. I don't care at all. Uh, 
let's just drop something. I suppose I could drop this crossbow and whatnot, but then we wouldn't be able to... Let's drop this potion of lignification. I think we'll be fine without it. Part of the reason why I do want to identify all these potions is because uh, we might have some potions of Cure Mutation, and we might have only one Potion of Cure Mutation, and I really want to have Potions of Cure Mutation available at some point. Fighters can get really shut down by some of them, like um, Occasional Berserking. That can just put you in a really, really dangerous place. Okay, Glowing Chainmail is worth trying on. Uh, let's kind of stand on a plus two chain mail of cold resistance. So 29 and 9 or 30 and 8. I think 29 and 9 with a pip of cold resistance is better than 30 and 8. So that's what we're going to do. And drop this plate mail, wherever it is. Plate armor. Excellent. Okay. Good. Let's just back away. Let them come to us. We have C invisible, so we're not concerned. Ooh, now we need to uh, approach. This does look like a place where there may be an entrance to the Orcish Mines. Seems reasonable. Eustachio! With his mustachio. We get. No. I have yet to see us get electricity resistance from Kozl, but that's fine. We have enough hit points to withstand a lot of electricity. And we can just kind of like wander back and forth. I don't know. Um, let's, let's use our fancy schmancy crossbow here. which we're not very talented. Okay. Good to know. We can eat goliath beetles and such now because we have poison resistance, so we can eat poisonous meat. Uh, yeah, we don't need multiple wands of slowing. Norkish knight. Not as tough as us. Haha. -ha. It's <laughs> it's kind of nice with the melee types because you know pretty clearly um, what your capabilities are. Let's uh, let's try this one of ignition this time. Blam. Blam. And we're feeling very hungry, but that's fine. We can just kill some orcs. Um, pretty standard start to the orcish mines. I want to get a little bit closer so we can uh, take out this priest. And then next target is this warrior with this glaive. Glaives can actually do quite a bit of damage and... Especially over time, if there's a constant meat shield in between the two of you. Still doing all right here. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, easy peasy. Yeah, the Orgish Mines, the first couple of levels, the first three levels, rather, um, are easier. Did we pick up a glowing mace? No, we didn't. Okay, that's fine. The first three levels of, uh, sorry, the first three levels of the Orgish Mines are easier than the last couple of levels of the layer, for sure. Um... Also easier than the first few levels of the uh, shoals or the spider's nest, generally speaking. Every once in a while, 
Ooh, yikes. Yeah, like you'll find an awklob. And um, I think we can kill it. Blast it with fire. Okay, excellent. A lot of scrolls are recharging. That's kind of cool. So we can make this rod really great if we need to. Is there a fresh corpse somewhere? No? Okay. Just have to keep scouting around. I guess stop to eat a pizza? Cowabunga, dude. And more orcs. Orcs, orcs, orcs. I closed up shop. Uh, we, I feel like we can drop something here. Oh, it's Wand of Flame. Excellent. An Ultra of Bow. Bow is an interesting god. I, I will have to try and play an Orc Priest sometime. Uh, because that seems like fun. You can convert orcs to follow you, and they can, as they gain experience, they level up. And so you can have, like, an army of orcish warlords and whatnot. Um, orcs mines three. And there's a sorcerer. That's, uh, that's a little unusual. We should be able to survive this. Yeah, especially now that he's within a cloud. Sorcerers are pretty tough. Okay, good. Now we're just drained and facing normal guys, so we're okay. We're okay. What is this? Robe? We don't care about robe. We do care about food. We like food. Man, um, this is a pretty tough Orc 3. Fortunately, we're abnormally strong. Actually, I don't know about abnormally strong, but we are very strong at this point. We have had a pretty smooth run. This battle axe is out of this world. It's very, very good. It's a perfect early game weapon. Like, if we had found an executioner's axe, we would still be using it. It's just that we would be suffering from the uh, from the delay pretty heavily. Um, okay, so other places that we haven't explored. The Orcish Mines occasionally contain pockets, though these seem... Pretty open. All right. Uh, try this one. All right. Yeah, sometimes there are just little pods, and you have to go up and down all the staircases to find all of them. Which you want to do because you need the money. Uh, another perfectly viable alternative, particularly when there are those pods, is to leave some of them unexplored as emergency food sources. If somehow you like run out of all of your perma food and uh, I don't know, it's hard to imagine the situation where that actually occurs. But if maybe you get a mutation of fast metabolism and you need a place where you can have food near you. I don't know. It's possible. You can't really rule out anything in Kroll. Regardless, I prefer to explore them all so I can get all the money. See, we now have 2,800 gold, exactly, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool number here. Okay, need to be a little cautious, as in step back onto the staircase. With axes, you still always want to attack the, uh, these are fire breath there. You always want to attack the most dangerous target because the splash damage will kill off all the chaff. Uh, as in the chaff that is separated from the wheat. I don't know if that's a proper metaphor or not. Um, uh, 
and you'll you'll still get the maximum damage on your primary target, which is important. Such as there, we needed to kill that sorcerer before he summoned too many other things. I think we're going to pop back upstairs and heal up here. It really does look cool having these clouds of elemental fury surrounding us all the time. It's pretty neat. I like this, uh, I like this god a lot. Paralyzed, E. Okay, we survived. Really not happy with the, okay. I was about to say the damage that we're failing to do here. Um, kill a priest, and the rest should be clean up here. They're still drained, which is a little annoying. I guess uh, many of these orcs are not really giving us any experience. Yes, yes, yes. Slow me down. Magic dart me all you want, but uh, I'm going to continue bashing your face in. Um, lots of priests here. Starting to... Yeah, let's... Um, hmm. I feel like this situation warrants something. I feel pretty vulnerable right now. Uh, I'm probably going to read one of these blink scrolls. It might be an overreaction, but I don't really want to die stupidly here. And I feel like I've been kind of just running through this level when I really should not be. Yeah, I've been continuing to use that entrance. That, that's been a poor choice. Ooh. Oh, yikes. Some uh, really strong guys are about to kill us here. Whew, we survived. That's... That's very fortunate. Um, let's try this disaster area business. Okay. Uh, so that was not very exciting. Um, but I think we can survive here. Yeah. Okay. All right. That was that was kind of tricky. I did not anticipate those guys being there. Clearly. Um But we survived, which is good, and uh, we can sort of explore down this path as well. I forget a little bit that uh, we are so far from being stealthy that it's not even funny. I'm, I'm used to characters that are at least sort of neutral on the stealth scale. Um, I mean, even my heavily armored characters are usually not actively drawing attention to themselves. We are essentially thunderclapping with every step, which is pretty insane. Um, but we're doing all right. I don't want to speak too soon because we haven't encountered a warlord yet, and I'm sure we will. Possibly even Saint Roca, which would probably be too much for us, to be honest. Elven halls, okay. None of those things are too interesting for us. No. No weapon short of another battle axe 
well, maybe like an artifact war axe or something, but no magical weapon short of an executioner's axe would even compare with what we have right now. So, um, let's uh, we do that. Yeah. Just wade through them. Axes are seeming like an awesome choice right now. Uh, they have been quite good to us. Uh, yeah, go ahead and ignore that. I don't care. And these little uh, these little resistances are kind of cool. I um, hmm. There's got to be more enemies. That was not enough evil orcs. I don't think. <coughs> Maybe so. Maybe that's it. We win. We win. All right, weapon boutique. B -b 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 boring. Food shop is also fairly boring, though useful. Jewelry shop. Okay, here we go. We have the Amulet of Temptation, which has Guardian Spirit. We can make ourselves go invisible. We resist electric and cold, and it increases our stealth. So, really, what it does is it gives us resist electricity and resist cold. Invisibility doesn't really do anything beyond um, beyond the mid-game, uh, because everything can see invisible eventually. Most demons and devils and things can see invisible. And so you'll think, ha-ha, I can go invisible and escape. But you cannot. So we will go ahead and buy uh, the cursed items so that it identifies them for us. It's effectively buying two scrolls of identification for... 48 gold, uh, or two scrolls of remove curse, which I think is a fair bargain, and then we can just drop them. Yeah, curse of ring of strength, okay, and a book boutique. How unfortunate. That's just a very pitiful selection. Uh, that amulet might be worth considering. But uh, electricity and cold, I, it's not going to be as useful in the shoals as clarity, for sure. Uh, doesn't really matter for the spider's nest, although I guess invisibility could be useful there. I think we have enough evocations to be able to at least activate it with some reliability. Uh, how much was it? That is the question. Seven hundred and twenty-nine gold. Okay. The Amulet of Temptation, it is. Yeah, I mean, there aren't any other shops here. There's no guarantee that we will find any more shops, although there are usually a smattering throughout the vaults. Uh, by which point we will have plenty more gold anyway. Yeah. Cool. So this means we can drop the Amulet of Guardian Spirit, because our new one is strictly better. And we should probably... Uh, I'm not sure which one we should default to. Probably the, the artifact. I just feel like we're going to want to switch to Clarity less, except in the Shoals. I mean, we're going to want to have clarity on less than we want to have uh, a couple of resistances and a pseudo-escape button in the form of invisibility and some extra hit points. I mean, yeah, it'll make us harder to use our god abilities, but that's fine.
I'm okay with that trade-off. Need some beef jerky. All right. Well, I think uh, I think I'll wrap this up here, partly because I'm not sure uh, what I want to do next. Uh, this screen that I brought up just now, you can access by hitting Control O, uh, and it brings up. It's just a menu of, of what you found. So you know, shows you shops, shows you unique monsters that you haven't killed yet, such as Sigmund, who's still waiting for us on dungeon level three. We will uh, we will serve him with his comeuppance at some point. But yeah, so we've got elf, spider, slime, shoals. We can keep going in the dungeon, though um, dungeon 15 would be, I think, a little too hard for us right now. Um, maybe. I think we need a couple more good pieces of armor. We need a, at least a good cloak or good uh, boots. I feel like a good cloak or good boots could could do it for us. Uh, elf, I don't believe we have any magic resistance. Oh, we are somewhat resistant to hostile enchantments. I can't believe we're still drained. That's a little crazy. Okay, only a little bit. 0.1. So that's... I mean, it sucks, but it's acceptable. The most annoying thing about being drained is it makes it harder to tell what you're training and what you're not. So we're still training armor, fighting, axes, crossbows. Uh, which I like. Crossbows, I think, are going to be really, really strong in the late game when we... Because Evocations kind of has a, a cap. Like I feel like maybe with the, the more powerful decks, you can continue to blast things well into the late game. But um, I just feel like it caps pretty hard. The wands use their use, lose their usefulness entirely by the time you get to Zot. They're almost completely worthless. They just don't do enough damage. I mean, if you max out your evocations, maybe, but far, far inferior to the actual spells. The spell power is just calculated differently, I think. It might be as strong as, you know, someone casting Bolt of Fire with 27 casting skill or whatever, but I, I doubt it. I feel like it caps off around level 16, maybe 15, not sure. I know the number for sure used to be 15. I don't know about it anymore. I know they've tweaked some of it. But regardless, um, evocations up to 15 is, is pretty darn good. Uh, it's it's very, very good early game, and it's decent throughout the mid game. But beyond that, it just it's such a, sh a sharp drop-off that you, you should go with something else. And I think that that is going to be crossbows for us. If we just turn it on and leave it on, by the time we actually find, uh, they're called arbalests and triple crossbows now, uh, the, the normal and large size. It used to just be crossbows, and I think maybe there was like a large crossbow or... I don't know. Anyway, there are three types of crossbow now. We want a triple crossbow, which requires a... Well... <laughs> Even at maximum skill, you only reach a delay of 1.0, assuming it can even reach that delay. Uh, yeah, yeah, its its minimum delay is 1.0. So <laughs> with 26 levels in crossbows, you can get down to one attack per turn with a triple crossbow. But uh, if I recall, it's also just massive damage. Uh yeah, it's 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 twenty two base damage added on to uh, bolt damage, so thirty percent more damage for a steel bolt, for example, will um, that that brings it up to geez, what's that? Uh, twenty eight damage, slightly over twenty eight damage. Slightly less than 28, 27 or 28 damage before any strength weight comes in. So before our stats are even calculated in, it's doing 28 damage base, which is insane. I mean, granted, it's affected by armor reduction, yada, yada, yada. But uh, if you're doing 20 points of damage a hit, you're doing really well. So that's, that's our goal, is to pick up one of those and just have it be a, a long-range, um, single-target... Presumably single target, although I think different kinds of ammo can have different effects. Um, 
frost bolts or whatever. It, it converts, I think, some of them pierce and other things. Anyway, um, it'll be very, very nice for us to have. We are pretty strong at this point. I, I could stand to have some better armor. We have just basic boots, gloves, and cloak. So that, yeah, you know, yay, three armor class. Uh, our chainmail is okay. I mean, resist cold is nice. Plus two is not the worst enchantment. Uh, we haven't seen any scrolls of enchant armor yet, which is kind of a shame. I guess we can read a couple of these other scrolls that we haven't tried yet. Uh, scroll of torment. Ow. That was mean. Scroll of fear. Okay. So still no scrolls of enchant armor. They are somewhat rarer than before as our scrolls of enchant weapon. But the plus side is that they work with perfect accuracy. Or rather, they, they are 100% reliable. It increases the level of the item, the enchantment of the item by one, every single time you use one, rather than in a uh, diminishing returns fashion. Sometimes you have to use like four scrolls just to go up the, la the last point to maximal enchantment. So I, I like it. It's, you know... It's less disappointing to not find scrolls of enchant armor than it is to find scrolls of enchant armor and have them all be worthless. So, anyway, I think that's enough for now. Uh, again, 30 minutes is where I'm trying to stop these videos. Uh, no guarantees, though. One of these days I'll probably just ramble on, get in, get in the middle of a big fight. But for now, toodaloo. Those were the Orcish, Orcish Mines, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.